Hey, welcome. This is Mike Stewart, the absolute worst reviewer on YouTube. I know this because of this comment. This fellow wrote, I don't know where I would place this movie on my list of good movies, but I know you are dead bottom on my list of reviewers on YouTube. Thank you. I take that as a shining compliment. Naturally, I had to respond back. We were talking in fun, I thought, about the film The Angry Red Planet. Got quite a few responses on that. That was on his list of so-called good movies, and I said you must have quite a collection of crap. The shitter is full by now. End of quote. But all of your views and comments have inspired me to do a sequel, a part two. So let's have some fun with it. Some of the most ghastly films ever made, 1959. 59, a particular vintage year for crap. Those low-budget movies that amaze and daze us, stun and numb us. The most incredulous, ridiculous film reelers are those of horror and science fiction flicks. We've compiled some of the best of the bad, true baddies. So on a rainy night with a handful of popcorn or Snickers, you should indulge in these inferior efforts strictly for entertainment, big belly laughs, and astonishing, astounding points of view of the movie producers, directors, writers. What the hell were they thinking? So here's the wonderful, weird world of low, low-budget basement blockbusters. Cinema masterpieces, these are not. Roll them. It came to make Earth people scream in their underwear. The Cosmic Man, an outer space peeper. I am here in the darkness. He must be destroyed. All right, ready, set, shake the camera. Do the Macarena. What's this, another Chinese balloon? Far worse. Teenagers from outer space. Do as I command or I'll destroy you with my ever-ready battery flashlight. Jim, I don't know what to make of it. It's the only damn special effect in this movie. That and the Elvis-looking hair. That proves we're teenagers from outer space. Ah, this movie is the ultimate gem. Let's all film in Lapland. What? Yeah, a story in Lapland where the heroine, look, she skates, she showers, she screams. It's a giant overgrown troll doll. Since there's no other scenery in Lapland, I guess we'll just stomp on the one single log cabin there. Oh, uh, what to do for a finish? Uh, of course, we'll sing a romantic song in a sci-fi slash horror flick. There should be two in love to view. Mm -hmm, terror. In the Midnight Sun, yeah. That didn't work in the USA, so they retitled it Invasion of the Animal People. Maybe that would have worked if we cast the entire Muppets in the movie. Now, be amazed with the new film technique, Psychorama. What's it all mean? It means the girl will scream in every scene. And here's our buddy from Angry Red Planet, still employing his special acting techniques, either to stare or to gaze. Subliminal perception. How does it work? Here is a scene as audiences will see it. And here is the same scene as your brain will see it and feel it. Yes, yeah, psychorama. Unbeknownst to the audience, subliminal pictures are placed in the film, persuading your subconscious. Go buy a chili dog in the lobby. Don't forget the big gulp. Take me away, take me away. Oh, she's so right. Take me away, away from the worst movies ever. There's so many of them. We'll return for another episode, but that's it for now. Signing off for Worst Movies, this is your Worst Movie Critic, Mike Stewart.